Hey, what's up Stream Keepers and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we actually, you know, again, we have John Binon here in Singapore with us today. Uh, and it will be a very different way of uh, showing you uh, in terms of uh, selective breeding. And one of the things is that we will actually do a live demo right here, right then, you know, at this facility. To actually let other people know that, you know, how we actually do the... Uh, uh, selective breeding, uh, the grow up tank and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, thank you very much for joining us here today, John. Uh, really appreciate it and taking time off for your busy schedule to actually visit us here in Singapore. Sure, thank you. But before we actually start uh, on, on, on that side, uh, you know, thanks, thanks a lot for uh. you know, giving me this uh, calendar. You know, it is uh, really awesome. It's being done by Vista Print. It's being done by Vista Print over here. Uh, you know, I, I see that the quality of the the prints are actually fairly good, you know, and I uh, really appreciate it because I didn't expect this from, from you as well. <laughs> so really appreciate that. Uh, so, you know, we what we're going to do here today is that we're going to dive right into the details and it's going to be a slightly different format. So, you know, actually what, what I'm actually trying to do is that I'm actually trying to get John over here to actually help us you know, uh, do all the, you know, the netting and then things like that so that he actually get the first-hand experience, the, the live experience to, to truly understand how things are being done over here and how much time and effort <laughs> yeah, exactly. to actually do it. So I uh, really appreciate that and, you know, uh, thanks for coming again. Uh, is there anything you want to share with the, you know, with the public, with the, with the audience? Uh, yeah, uh, I would say thank you again, Benny, for having me here. Oh, I hope this time it's not like uh, the other time that we just sit and chat for a while and then so this time the so I'm also so excited to have this hands-on right. experience to how you do the selective breeding. Selective breeding. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Very well. So now uh, we will start doing it and uh, stay tuned. Alright, now welcome back. So now what you know John is going to do is that he's going to net the streamlets the streamlets you know the streamlets into the into the breeder box and over here you can actually see what we're going to try to do is that we're going to have two breeder box over here so the whole idea is that you know uh you know over here as well so you know john is actually trying to uh, net all the babies so net all the babies over here so the whole idea is that first you net all the babies out into the you know into the into the breeder box first and then you transfer them to a grow up tank so what he's trying to do is that you know uh to make his life actually easier we actually fed the stream so that the the streams are at the front the streamers are still very small uh, however you know it is important that at this stage we actually try to remove them as best as we can uh into the grow up tank and on the second part of this uh, i will actually share with you how it's being done in terms of the uh, uh, selective breeding process uh, and try to get the you know the, the better streams out from the from the streamlets as well um, so we'll give you know John Binner another you know five hours to actually do this uh, <laughs> selective breeding uh, thing you know trying to scoop out the, the streams so we'll see you guys in about five hours all right so finally you know John has uh, you know, completed his his given task to actually, you know, try to net the babies out from the the breeding tank, the main breeding tank, into the, uh, you know, the breeder box to actually take a look at, at at this. You can actually see that you know there's a lot of babies over here, and there's also you know over here there's a lot of babies. Um, so what we're gonna do next is actually to, you know, from here we're gonna select out the ones that we really want uh, over here. To put it on the next tank, uh, next breeder box, and then from that breeder box, we will actually you know move it, move it to this tank, where we will move forward in terms of the ones that we are selecting, and then we will put the rest of the babies over here as the grow up tank, uh, for them to actually grow up. So we will get going first, and then after that we will come back with a you know final review of what is happening and why we are doing this, and the purpose of doing this. Uh, everything uh, so that you know in terms of a genetic standpoint we will explain everything at the end of it oh now we are back finally <laughs> you know after you know after you know scooping up the streams and, and things like that so John thanks for you know doing that uh, I hope you have experienced uh, a good experience in terms of yeah. understanding why we are doing what we are doing 
uh, in terms of uh, selective breeding, taking out the babies. Uh, from the babies, we actually remove the ones that we really want and then put it inside another tank. So now I want to hear from your perspective because there's a lot of uh, breeders out there, you know, they are asking me about you know, selective breeding and things like that. Um, so from your experience through this process, you know, this hands-on experience, what kind of uh, things that you, I think two parts of this, um, the first part is what do you feel about you know, having this? Does it help you? And things like that. And then of course, you know, if there's any questions around uh, why we are doing things like that, I think this is a good time we actually share with the, the, the audience and other breeders uh, how things are being done. Yeah, uh, so first of all, it was a good experience. I think it took a lot of time to <laughs> actually scoop out the babies. Uh, so, so I find it difficult to scoop out the babies initially. So mm -hmm. once we feed and all the yeah. the parents came to it, it was easy to take. Yeah. So uh, I didn't expect it to take this long. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So once we did all those things, I was thinking at least we'll get a handful of babies that goes into the selective breeding tank. Right, right. I think we almost had some 30 plus babies. Out right. of that, we could select only two, yeah. <laughs> which yeah. is like very, very less, which is uh, 1 is to 15. Yes. So then right. I understood, okay, this is the difficulty in selective breeding. Right. You need to spend a lot of time, a, of a time. careful selection is right. important. Yeah. yeah. So I think uh, maybe just to add on a little bit is that, you know, we actually chose the, the easier ones with lesser Correct. amount of uh, uh, streamlets to actually net it out. Uh, but for those that, you know, that, that breed quite, quite a lot, uh, I think that will take even longer time okay. and then uh, more time to actually do a selective breeding. Uh, but however, uh, I think this is a very enjoyable uh, process. Uh, so if if you have any questions around, you know why we are doing this, maybe at this point of time you can actually sh uh, ask a question so that we can actually uh, share it with the 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 pub, uh, no, the wider audience. Okay, so can you tell me a little bit about the bloodline something like? Okay. Uh, uh, I have seen your blogs, right. uh, radio blogs, and some of your videos. Mm -hmm. Can you say adding? A new bloodline, blood right? Uh, from a you say new bloodline, but added from the same source. Same source. So what is that? Mean? If I have a, a bloodline from one source, right? So after some two three years, if I want to add the same source, yeah. How does that make sense? Is it the same bloodline still? So or? yeah. So thanks for the the question. I think that is a very uh, good question to ask, and a lot of uh, readers get a little bit more confused in in, in that terms. Um, so to make it simpler, maybe I'll use uh, family members to actually, <laughs> you know, to actually share this information because uh, from a family member standpoint, then you will kind of like get to understand it better. Um, like for example, if you have like your grandfather and then you have your father and then you have yourself and then your brother. So your brother and you will definitely be, uh, in terms of genetics, very closely related. However, your cousins are different. Your cousins are Although from the same grandfather, you know, yeah. or the, the bloodline, it's the same, the same source, <laughs> <laughs> the same source. However, you know, they are fairly different in terms of their genetic build-up. Maybe very similar in terms of you and your brother. However, your cousins will, will not be very similar mm -hmm. anymore because that is already quite far apart. Uh, and that's that's where you know, uh, for example, if we do not have a lot of tanks at home, uh, we can actually uh, get new blood, you know, get new blood from the same source. Yeah. But it will be considered as a very distant relative to actually inject it into the, to the breeding tank so that it rejuvenates the, the entire gene pool again. Um, because what we don't want happen is that we don't want you know brothers and sisters like inbreeding uh, too much uh, because that dilutes the uh, genetic uh, build-up as well. So that's a, a very good question that you have been asking and it's not something that um, that is widely available in terms of the information. Um, and it is also very critical in terms of the quality of the genetics of the strips. So is there any other questions apart from this? Yeah, so like when you, if you don't have time for doing selective breeding right. and you leave all the shrimplets into the tank for almost a month, uh -huh. and what if they start breeding with them? Oh, okay. So then, then, that's, uh, then that's going to be <laughs> an issue. However, it is still rectifiable if let's say you catch them uh, in time. Like for example, um, if let's say your male babies 
breed with your main breeding male, a uh, female, Fem- female, and the female berry. Yeah. Okay. And if you you know catch it in time before the they release the babies, then I think it's still uh, salvageable. So what you do is that you actually net the, the 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 female into a breeding box, let her you know release the eggs, uh, let, let her release the babies, okay. and then you know put that into a separate tank. Uh, the the, the streamers in a separate tank, and then for the female you can actually uh, still use it. Of course, then you have to you know quickly remove the the, the, baby, the whatever babies that yeah. you are supposed to remove to, to remove it. Um, that is if you are going to do selective breeding for for that line. However, if let's say you do not want to do selective breeding for that particular tank, you just want to keep them. You know, that's no that's that, that's fine as well. You don't really have to um, say that. Okay, every single tank I want to do selective. Yeah, you don't have to do that because it's it's not everybody cups of cup of tea. Uh, yeah. Not everybody wants to do selective breeding. If you just want to keep streams, you know, just put it in a tank, watch them breed, cross breed, and do whatever. Anything. I think that's perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, you don't really have to really dictate. Uh, okay, I want to just do stream breeding and do selective breeding. You don't have to do that. You can have tanks that you want to enjoy. Like you know, you have seen yeah. you know Jake's tank, you know, enjoy. You can put uh, dinosaurs in there. Uh, there's really no. Uh, one best way of doing things, I think you can actually club all of them together, combine all of these together. You can have like um, tanks with fanciful, fanciful stuff. And then you have tanks that you really want to focus on and things like that. So it's definitely uh, no problem on that. Yeah. So so is there any questions in, in terms of, you know, the, the time, the process, how you actually scoop it, you know, arms are aching and things like yeah. that. <laughs> so is there any advice or tips you want to share with the, uh, the the audience uh, so in terms of selective breeding I would tell uh, it's the first thing is to get shrimps from a good source mm. so then the uh, the process of selecting breeding of you actually comes down yeah. <laughs> it doesn't like ache your hands and all right right yeah yeah so anything else like, like for example do you advise people doing selective breeding or you know from where you s- see all the streamlets and, and things like that do you think that uh, it is it is worth doing or what 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 would no, you? Yeah, I, I would personally say it's like worth doing. Mm-hmm. So one thing one thing I see here is like when you say like a lot of people ask you about the size of your shrimp. Yeah. yeah. So I think uh, when you say it's the normal size of the shrimp, yeah. <laughs> I wonder how is it. Yeah. So I think that's the size that you attend is mainly because of the selective breeding. Correct. Right. So if I want, I can put all the shrimplets and I can do mass breeding and yeah. over a period of time there. I think the lifespan comes down, yep, the yep. size also comes down. So you want to attain a good size, a mm-hmm. uh, good lifespan of the shrimp, right. a good genetics, then I would advise to go into selective breeding. Selective breeding, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I think that's, that's very good advice uh, to actually get the streams better. Yeah, yeah. Right. Moving forward, so we have tanks that move forward, some of the tanks that maintain. So, you no, know, appreciate your time here, you know, John, uh, you know, have a good stay here in Singapore. Thank you. Uh, really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, for you helping me, you know, net the streams, I'll give you some streams then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all jokes okay. aside. So, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you like this video, please remember to give a thumbs up. And for those who are new to this video and you would like to learn more about, uh, you know, stream breeding, selective breeding and things like that, please, you know, you can put in the comments below what you really want to, to see. And uh, please remember to subscribe and thank you for watching and until next time, peace out.